Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an interesting non-standard equation with complex numbers. So we have e to the power iz equals iz, z is a complex number, i is a constant whose square equals negative 1, and e is Euler's number. If you're new to complex numbers, go ahead and check out my lecture videos. So let's go ahead and see what we can do for this type of equation. First of all, I want you to notice that on the left hand side, we have e to the power iz, and we do actually have a formula, Euler's formula, to convert this to something else. So what is Euler's formula? It says e to the power i theta equals cosine theta plus i sine theta. So when you have a complex number whose modulus or absolute value is 1, we can write this relationship between the exponential and the sine and the cosine, which is a beautiful, beautiful equation, right? Don't you think? But we have e to the iz. We don't have e to the i theta. But that's not a problem because theta is the only variable and you can pretty much replace theta with anything you want. You can even replace it with a complex number. So theta does not even have to be real. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. e to the power iz can be written as cosine z plus i sine z. What is the cosine of a complex number? That's another story. We'll probably talk about that later in a different video. But let's go ahead and do this. Since we have e to the iz equals iz, this should equal iz, right? So from here, we should be able to solve for z. So let's go ahead and forget about the left-hand side like e to the iz and just focus on this. So we have iz equals cosine z plus i times sine z. And notice that to get the z by itself, we can go ahead and divide both sides by i or multiply by negative i, which I think is better. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by negative i. And that will give us negative i times i is negative i squared. And i squared is negative 1, so negative i squared is positive 1. Yay! These cancel out, leaving us with a z. So what is z? z is equal to cosine z times negative i, which is negative i cosine z. And then i times negative i, again, is going to give us 1, so it's going to be plus sine z. Of course, you want to write things in standard form all the time. So let's go ahead and write this as sine z minus i times cosine z. Obviously, you could also turn this into something different, such as maybe something like, this could be written as cosine pi over 2 minus z, but then you can, can you use the same thing here? No, it will be a little different. Maybe we can use something like cosine pi over 2 plus z, because that's going to put the sine uh, in the second quadrant, and then uh, it'll work because sine is positive in the second quadrant, so it should be fine, right? And then here uh, we should convert something. Anyways, there is a way to convert it, but I don't think that's going to be very helpful either. And this doesn't seem very helpful, in my opinion, okay? So let's go ahead and use something different. How about this? Let's go ahead and go back to the original equation, e to the iz equals iz. Why don't we use substitution? Because iz is repeated, uh, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So we have the iz in two different places. Let's go ahead and call iz something. How about u? I could also use w, but I don't want to use w because I'll use w in a different way. That's actually going to be an uppercase w. Did you guess it? Yes. We're going to invoke a very special function in a little bit. So let's go ahead and replace iz with u. That gives you or me, or everyone else, e to the power u equals u. Okay? What can I do with this? We can go ahead and multiply both sides by e to the power negative u. So multiply by e to the negative u, multiply by e to the negative u. This becomes 1, because that's 1 over e to the u, and this is what it is. So let's go ahead and rewrite it. u times e to the negative u equals 1. Great. At this point, let's go ahead and invoke Lambert. In other words, Lambert's W function. So what does Lambert's W function do? First of all, if A equals B, then of course, W of A 
is gonna equal w of b, right? This is always true for any function that's well defined. Great, now, Lambert's w function basically takes an input like t e to the t, and it just returns t. If you don't like t and you wanna use coffee, that's fine too. Lambert's w takes coffee times e to the coffee, and it just turns it into coffee. But coffee takes up too much place, too much space, so we don't want to use it. I like the T better, but again, it's your call. So when we apply it to this, it's not going to make a lot of sense. So let's kind of back up a little bit because this is not T to the T. Notice that these two things are different. They should be the same. So this is not a good way of using it. Let's go back here u times e to the negative u equals 1. What should I do before I apply Lambert's? I should multiply both sides by negative 1. That is the correct answer. And then I apply Lambert's w, and you'll be in good shape. All right? Now, when you apply it here, you're going to get negative u. On the right-hand side, you're going to get w of negative 1. Million-dollar question. What is w of negative 1? I don't know. And I don't think it matters. It's like square root of... 2. What is the square root of 2? 1.4 something? No. The square root of 2 is square root of 2. Nothing can be more exact than that, right? So let's leave it at that, but replace u with something. Maybe first let's multiply both sides by negative 1. That's going to give us u equals negative w of negative 1. And then at this point, let's go ahead and replace u with iz. Because remember, u was, you were u is whatever, iz, right? So now iz becomes negative w of negative 1. And then at this point, we're going to do hocus pocus or math magic one more time. Multiply both sides by negative i. Multiply by negative i. And this is going to give you positive 1. And z from here is going to be negative 1 times negative is positive. i times w of negative 1. Awesome, right? We were able to write z in terms of Lambert's W function, which is fine. And how do we evaluate it? You can use um, a calculator. Okay, I was thinking about what can you use? Or you can think of it differently, like this, maybe. E to the IZ equals IZ. Notice that IZ is the same as E to the IZ, so this IZ can be replaced with E to the IZ. Does that make sense? This can be written as E to the IZ. So now we have E to the E to the IZ, equals iz. But again, we have another iz here which can be replaced with e to the e, e to the iz or even e to the e to the iz. And if you keep doing this, you're going to get e to the power, e to the power, e to the power forever. That's going to go and that's just going to equal iz. Wow, that was simple. And then from here, maybe we can divide both sides by i or multiply by negative i. And if you do that, multiply by negative i, and multiply by negative i, you're going to get 1 again, and z is going to be negative i times e to the power e to the power e dot dot dot. Well, wait a minute. Doesn't this diverge? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's just a fun way of writing it, and if you think it's incorrect, let us know in the comment section. But we're not done yet because we could still do something about it. Well, not really something about it, but maybe write our solution from the first approach a little differently. Notice that I was able to write z as this and then z as that. So I'm getting like two different results. Let's go ahead and put those together. i times w of negative 1 is the same as negative i times e to the e to the e dot dot dot. And if you cancel out i, like divide by i both sides, in this case division is fine, we get w of negative 1 as negative e to the e to the e and so on and so forth. That's not the answer, but I just wanted to share with you something. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.